Nothing, nothing. I swear to you. Nothing feels better than fucking hitting a Harley Davidson with a hammer. Oh man. It's gonna be therapeutic. Uh, Ryan Cruzy Cruzy Originals. I am back working on the stunt tail today. I know you guys are stoked. It's actually going to be mostly a motorcycle today by the end of this. But I got trees, legs, tubes, front fender, handlebars, brake setup. Probably going to have to build brake lines because we're going to a dual disc brake setup, which I'm going to have to figure that out as well. I think that's about it. We're going to get started. Just got back from Utah, went up to Salt Lake City for a Ride and Destroy stunt show up there. It was a really, really good time. Rode a couple wheelies on my monkey about six months earlier than what I'm supposed to, so now my neck feels like it's going to explode, but I'm going to get through this day slowly. Uh, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to pop out some races. I'm going to put new neck bearings in this, new races. Uh, the gas tank is n assembled and ready to go back together. I put the fuel pump in it, yeah. Okay, it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is pop some races out. Gotta find my hammer. Yes. that you can push this thing and it pushes grease through and all that shit. Yeah, 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 they're out there. I know all about it, you don't need to tell me. I don't like using them, I just pack them myself, old school. Legs. I've got Lowrider S 2000, like 17 twin cam Lowrider S lower legs, Pro One stock length Dyna tubes with Legends cartridges up in the top. It's gonna get these up in here to just kind of hold things in place. I think I'll do in this situation because I do want to drift this thing. I'm gonna get the old body hammers out and I'm gonna <coughs> do a little hammering on the old gas tank here so this sucker just goes full lock. Should give you a drift missile. I am uh, giving up on the steering stops and I'm gonna just beat the shit out of the gas tank with a ball peen hammer and give myself a whole bunch of clearance because I want a full lock. This is really just gonna be like the ultimate drift machine. And if I could wheelie it, it would be awesome. Can I? Ah, I have my doubts. I really, really have my doubts. I tried before, last time we had it built, and it was just not happening. I probably could flick this thing up, because I know, I know there's people out there wheeling twin cam soft tails. They're doing stand-ups. They're pulling them up from stand-up or knee knock. It's not a legitimate, I have not seen anyone sit down, pull up, a legitimate sit down wheelie on a soft tail, a twin cam soft tail. You just hit the gas tank with that? I would really like to, you know, clutch up a twin cam. Because you never know if it does clutch up and it does wheelie nice, wouldn't it be amazing if we just found a whole new motorcycle with stunt ride on Harley Davidson? One that's affordable, 
You can buy two twin cam soft tails for the price of a sacked out dyno nowadays. Riser bolts are 45 foot pounds. I don't like telling people torque specs because if you're working on your motorcycle and you don't know what the torque specs are, you shouldn't be working on your motorcycle. That being said, buy a service manual. Take it to a professional. I think the only thing I'm gonna change, if it doesn't, if I can't clutch it up, I've got Legends uh, coils in the rear that came out with uh, like the Revo A equivalent to this, coil over suspension for the soft tail twin cam. And we have one of the first sets on here. We haven't really got to test it out because the bike's been in this endless project, you know. It feels really good to sit on it. I think if, if the only thing I'll change, if I can't get the thing to clutch up, I'm gonna do a swing arm conversion and run arcs on the back and get her tall and then this would be the nastiest thing on the road because this bike the way it sets right now is the best handling motorcycle i've ever rode better than a new twin camera m8 soft tail all that shit the m8 soft tail swing arm setup is trash the mono shock on an m8 soft tail setup is trash proved that over and over again thank you very much everyone that doubted me you can just watch the footage look at this that thing's nasty in it god damn it what's it missing i forgot a crucial component baja designs the headlight <laughs> all right there it is headlight brackets on this is our top mount headlight conversion for uh pretty much anything that doesn't have a, an eyebrow mount it's just a bracket plate and then this is our baja designs lp6 bracket i don't have the headlight right now because like everyone else i'm waiting on mine to get here because i had to take the one off of this and use it for another bike kind of is what it is so the front end's done i'm gonna throw a wheel in this uh hey why don't you clock out of that pull the tire off that lowrider s rim that's out front out front and then put it on the other lowrider rim that's back there so I can stick it on this thing. I have lowrider S wheels off of an M8 soft tail, the bronze ones, which I was going to run on this bike and I was pretty excited about it. But then I fucking realized that the lowrider S wheels are, the lowrider S's are wide glides and the hub is a wide glide. You cannot run M8 lowrider S rims on anything that is not a wide glide. It has to be a wide glide. That being said, that shit will bolt right up on a bagger. And it would look pretty rad. Put like a 110 tire on it, like a beefy one, you know, and then had some low rider mags on a bagger. It'll work. They're for sale. 1100 bucks. Hit me up. Saddleman is making me a custom seat for this. A nice one-off seat. Should be done pretty soon. I talked to Chris yesterday or the day before. Uh, it's going to be a tuck and roll step-up gripper moving me up and forward, up into the saddle. Should be pretty nice. Uh, once he has that tire done, throw this thing on a lift and start throwing some more parts on it. I think next, I could, I could put the gas tank on, but I don't think I want to do that yet until I'm ready to done welding on beat. Actually, I could put the gas tank on, we could do some beating on it with a hammer. Let me hook some throttle cables up, and then we'll beat the shit out of it. We'll do some hammering. I wish there was some kind of app or a sensor that hooked up to your toolbox that monitored all your tools and monitored the ones, how much you use each one, so I could go through and see the ones that I never touch. I've got so much shit in there, and I know there's tools in there, I never and touch them and they could just go away and leave me a whole bunch of room somebody develop up some sort of what would that even be an inventory tool inventory use device of some sort make that shit happen i will not pay any money for it but i will gladly take it for free and help you sell it <laughs> let's go yo so i'm gonna hook up the throttle cables right now check it out these fancy bad boys these are from motion pro this is a 7 8 throttle setup. I'm gonna show you the throttle when I get to it. These cables are super dope. This is a Motion Pro 7 8 throttle setup for a Harley Davidson XR1200. Bolts right up to Harley Davidson. The throw is all the right length. Everything is the right shit. The cables are plenty long enough for just about any handlebar setup you do that's not stupid tall like a dildo. That's dumb anyways, but they're really, really nice. Really, really hard to get right now. So if you need these, I think they're on the website. If not, you can holler at the shop. Trent can get them for you. When you see this setup, it's dope. The throttle itself is cam adjustable, so you can you know, change the pitch and the throw of the throttle. When it hits, how hard it hits, how long the throw is. I like them as long as possible. I don't like that short throttle shit and chopping all over the place. That really sucks, but idle cable always has a spring. All it is is a return cable, basically. 
spring goes in there. Throttle cable, that's the one that makes her pull. So it's gonna go around the back side. Here's the throttle housing, it goes like this. Also really nice, but they all come with this cam right here. And this guy locks onto this guy, and it comes with, I don't know how many, four to six different cams. And all these do is put these in different positions. So it controls on if it hits harder off the bottom, harder off the back, the middle, or you can make a quarter turn. Some of them are shorter, some are long throw. This is the longest throw. I want to have a long, smooth throttle for stunt riding. I don't want that chop, 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 choppy shit. Quarter turn throttles and short throttles for stunt riding are trash. They're pretty much trash for anything, but I don't know what you'd use that for. Drag racing maybe, or just being a dude that wants to dick brag about, I got a short throw throttle at the fucking bar or something cool that you can brag everybody about and everybody that knows anything knows that was a bad idea. Quietly thinks in their brain to themselves, and that guy's a fucking idiot. Shouldn't have put that on his bike. These guys separate, which is nice. You can go like this that bitch up in there, up in there. Lock into place, hold these. Everything kind of is fitted and notched so it all slides right into where it's supposed to. I'm gonna push it all the way on until she touches and then back it off just a hair because you don't want that rubbing against your throat or your handlebars. It's gonna make for a rough throttle. I have a Brembo, uh, previously loved Brembo 19 RSC master 7 8 style. They make these for one inch as well. We run them on everything. It's the best master cylinder on the planet. Once again, if you're doing any kind of high performance shit on your motorcycle, master cylinder is where it's at. You can put the fanciest fucking calipers on your bike you want to. If you got a stock master cylinder, your calipers are dog shit. Doesn't matter. Calipers really don't make much of a difference. Master cylinder makes the difference. That's everything. Is it expensive? Yes. Hell yes it is. Costs less than buying some bullshit calipers though. Bagger Brembo calipers, the stock bagger calipers with the grills, set of these, dialed. Watch us put this beautiful front end on this bike. It's like, man, this thing's gonna look so nice. And then you see it with the paint on. <laughs> You're like, what the f Gas tank's trash, everything's beat to shit. I'm also not gonna fix the paint on this and I'm not gonna paint the bike because I wanna leave it nostalgic to what it was and kinda how beat up it was. And I'm gonna beat the f out of the inside of the gas tank right now so I can full lock this bad boy. Reason you're even watching this goddamn video because of the thumbnail you saw me beating the shit out of this gas tank. Very, very therapeutical for me. If you saw the last video, I got pissed off trying to get this uh, thing in here and I took my pliers to the top of the gas tank and I whacked her fiercely. It felt so good. Because you know how often you can get real fire. If you've ever put a fuel tank and a fuel inject or a fuel pump and a fuel injected Harley Davidson and tried to wrestle one of those things in there, every model has its own tricks and bullshit to get them in there. And you really, really want to hit a gas tank with a hammer or some pliers or whatever you have in your hand at the time, but you can't because gas tanks are expensive and you don't want to hurt the paint. But this motherfucker right here. That'll be money. You can just fucking turn that thing all the way out and yeah, da 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 da, and ride her down the street. Come on, and glue some little rubber tabs in here and let her bounce off that. I learned this when I was apprenticing to be a hacksmith. A journeyman hacksmith. Put a couple backwards tips on her. Hold triple. Ooh. Mastectomy, double mastectomy right there. Mastectomy, hell, kill them both.
the TC Bros weld on kickstand. It's basically a hot match ripoff. Matt Koch was the one who created these back in the early 2000s. I don't honestly know if Matt Hotch is still around anymore. You ever, have you heard, remember him? Like a build off guy back in the day? He was like one of the first guys to do air ride. Like That's a Filipino dude? Yeah, lay frame, air ride, all that type of shit. And then uh, he made these kickstands. And they were quite a bit more expensive than these, this version. And he sold the shit out of them and he was killing it. And anything just kind of, you know, economy collapsed and biker build off went away. And that was pretty much the end of a lot of people, I think. It's two bags. He made dope shit. Somebody comment down below and tell me what happened to Matt Hotch. Hotch Designs. Or I think it was Hot, Hot, Ma Hot Match or something like that. I don't remember the exact name, but. He did a lot of cool shit, man, is what I'm getting at. Let me wait for Matt to tear off the primary. does it for the day. It does it for me anyways. I got computer work to do. Matt's gonna put the primary back together, reassemble all the stuff, finish the chain and shit, but kickstand's done. Front end is done for the most part. I don't really have a fender or brakes yet, but we'll figure that out. I'm also kind of torn between running sky nets on this or not. It's just expensive and it would kind of save me money not to do that, but I kind of want to do that anyways. It would be pretty dope. Uh, I need screws for the gas tank. Did you get them screws ordered, Trent? Not yet. I got it written down up there. All right. Just got all these attacks real quick. Um, I think that's it, man. We did the kickstand. We did the front end. Got the Legends in there. Legends. This thing's got Legends front and rear now, which is pretty nice. Got TC Bros risers, Pro Tapers, Elite, Brembo, a bunch of fancy shit. I need a right side caliper, which I'll dig one out of the back somewhere sometime, I'm pretty sure. And should be ready to go. She's actually pretty close. I got those TC Bro mids I told you about, but I'm gonna squash that and get factory Harley Davidson mids. I want it to look as factory as possible. I don't want it to look like I did custom work. I want it to look like it came that way from the factory. Factory. Um, we'll be moving forward on this pretty fast. I should have it kind of ready to run by tomorrow. I don't know if you'll get to see that on video or not, but it'll be coming along. Also, we will be in Four Corners, Durango, Harley Davidson at the Durango Four Corners Rally, beginning of September. Then we'll be in Cottonwood, don't forget about that, Arizona. That one's going to be dope. It's going to be right around the middle of September, around the 13th. Then we're going to Rocky Point, Mexico in November, also going to be a rad time. If you want to come out and see us, that's the time to do it. We're not going to Sturgis. I'm broke and it's too expensive, and I'm broken. So stay posted, like, subscribe, ring that bell, cruisyoriginals.com for... Basically everything that's on this motorcycle. Everything you need for your motorcycle. Peace. Thank you.